Hello everyone, Porter House here, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Body Slide for Skyrim. Now, uh, before I get rolling here, I just wanted to let you know that I'm a little hoarse because this is like my fifth time running through this. Uh, I kept forgetting important things. Uh, I was going to try to do it without a script, but I ended up writing just a quick little uh, script up, so I'm following that so I don't sound so disjointed. And uh, like I said, I'm a little hoarse, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Now, anyway, I'm going to assume two things. And one is that you already have Body Slide installed and that you're using CBBE. Now, uh, a lot of what I say will apply to UMP, but I don't use UMP. I used to, um, but back in the day... Um, there were more body slide files for CBBE and more armors for CBBE than UMP. That has bounced back and forth uh, lately, so not really sure anymore, but CBBE is my favorite, so that's what I use. Now, as I said, I'm assuming that you have it installed, that is body slide. If not, uh, if you just do a search for Skyrim body slide, it will be the very first hit when you do the search. And it'll bring you to this website, uh, the Nexus for uh, Body Slide and Outfit Studio. And I want to take a quick moment to thank the authors for creating and continuing to update this tool. It has just been absolutely fantastic. And you have my most profound thank you. Now, uh, when you get here, you can uh, install it uh, off of right here through a mod manager and it does talk about how to install it down below uh, and there are some addendums for various um, uh, mod managers I myself use the community version of Nexus mod manager uh, I tried to make the leap to vortex but I did not like it it it, it was shall we say not intuitive I, I really don't care for it so uh, I use the community version, and if I had to make a second choice, I would use Mod Organizer before I used Vortex. Now, that being said, um, once you get it installed, uh, what I've done is I've created a specific shortcut to it on my desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And one of the first things you're going to want to do is you want to click on the Preview button, which will open up your Preview pane and uh, that allows you to see the changes as you're making them. Now one of the first things I'm going to talk about is these two uh, menu items. Now the first one is the outfit slash body that you're working on. Let me clear that thing. And I'm going to be using the CBBE Never Nude HDT uh, as an example because I like my, uh, my YouTube channel and I want to keep it. And uh, but this has all of the bodies and armors that you're going to be working on, and then the other one is the presets, these are the body presets that you are creating or altering or whatever. Now, a uh, good example here is one that I just finished tweaking. This is the new version of Tish's body that I've been uh, experimenting with. Um, and I just finished it and you can see I saved it with today's date so anyway but uh, that is the explanation of these two now there's some things you can do with that and I'll be showing you the outfit uh, filter a group manager is something I'm gonna save for another video someday uh, so let's not worry about that and um, the save buttons and save as become important and of course all of your sliders and your batch build, uh, your preview, and your build buttons are all going to be important. So, uh, we're going to talk about building a preset from scratch. Now, I'm not going to use Tish as an example. When I build one from scratch, uh, now this is just me, you can choose any of them. When you install uh, Body Slide, you'll get the choice to install uh, various body uh, and body types and it comes with some rather good ones you can use as a basis. I like using the girl next door body as a uh, basis for this because the sliders are zeroed out or damn near zeroed out so it gives me a good starting point uh, to, to go with. So um, 
say for example we've we started building a new preset here and let me zoom in oh let me talk about the preview pane real quick your uh, right mouse button if you click and hold allows you to spin tilt and uh, do just anything you need to do to get close-ups uh, of your model that you're looking at and then your left mouse button allows you to move up and down and of course your mouse wheel allows you to zoom in and out so that's how that works now uh, let's say we want to get started here and obviously I like my girls a little bustier so and this is going to be important when you're making changes make sure you look at it from all sides because what looks good from up front may look terrible from the side so make sure you spin and check it out and make sure it looks good from all angles and we're going to make some basic alterations. I'm just kind of making these at random, so. Wow, I made her pretty Amazonian. All right, and make it a little perkier, and we'll change the width. Now, um, you'll probably spend a lot of time experimenting with this now. Um, always experiment on the high weight first uh, and then copy that over to the low weight later don't worry about this for now and I'll, I'll explain more about that in just a moment so uh, nipple slider is not going to be doing a whole lot of difference here because it's the it is the never nude body so you can't really see me make changes to that um, if you're looking at the nude version of the body and you start changing these you'll see what they do all right, so we got a good chest, and I was like, oh, you know, that booty's a little small. We're going to fix that. I'm going to up size it a little bit. We're going to make it a little more apple-shaped and uh, make it a bit rounder. So now she's uh, she's got a, a, a good-sized booty, but now the legs are out of proportion, so we're going to go down to the legs. And we're going to up the uh, thigh size a little bit so it's a little bit more in line. Now you can see here I'm making pretty drastic changes to her thigh size. It's not horribly apparent from the front or from the side, but when you look at it from the front, you'll see the difference. So that's what I was talking about with making sure you look at it from all angles. We'll, we'll go down a little bit. Uh, we'll try to match the, uh, the calves or her calf muscles are larger and everything looks good now one thing i am guilty of is not altering the arms and that's that's uh well i have been guilty i'm a lot better at doing that now like say for instance kira who is one of my uh followers uh slash characters uh she's a bit amazonian she's taller i wanted to make her look very muscular so i started messing around with this slider which changes her arm size i know it says chubby but it just ups it just scales up the arm size so now the arms look pretty buff uh, but now she looks kind of masculine especially from the back so we're going to change the shoulder width a little bit and then smooth it out and now it's still buff but it still looks a little feminine so that's one thing you want to make sure you do is when you change the package so to speak you change everything you can't you want to make sure that the proportions are good so there we go now let's pretend that we're good here and um, oh now well, there's one more thing I want to show you now you're not just limited to uh, what the sliders will do um, let's say you wanted to have a like super busty character and you have buffed these slides up all the way and this is still not enough for you you can actually go into one of the sliders and change it manually so I'm gonna change that to 300 hit enter and you can see it made this outrageous you know breast size so you can actually uh, manually alter these sliders we're, we're gonna go back to something a bit more conservative Oop, a little too much Dang it. All right. So now we have created, wow, oof. <laughs> That's still a little big. So now we have created a body slide preset. We're satisfied with the way it looks. 
So now that this is all done, there's a button down here that you're going to click. And what that does is it copies the sliders over to the low weight. Now, the difference is, is the high weight is 100 and low weight is anything below that. You're, now, if you have a character that is at weight 60, you'll have the same shapes. It'll just be at a smaller scale. Uh, you can also change your low weights manually, like say for instance, while well, she's at, you know, 40, I don't want her to be super busty, so you can and manually just change that so that it's something smaller. And I've done that myself, and what I usually do is I go about half uh, of these sliders. So, um, let's go up a little bit, Oop, a little too much. So somewhere in there, so that if it's a lower weight character, it's still got the basic shapes. Uh, it's just a little smaller. So we're going to go ahead and recopy that. So now we're all happy. We have our high weight. We have our low weight. And we want to save this. And this is very important, so pay attention. So we're going to name it. Uh, for this, we're going to call it Video Example, which I've actually already done, but we're just going to overwrite it. And this is the important part, is you're going to want to be able to apply this to all of these groups. Now, the reason you do that is if you just build the body uh, preset and you just hit save without checking any of these boxes. Let's say, for instance, you wanted to build uh, Nisa Tanaka's uh, Bikini Ascend Orc Armor. If you choose that in the outfit or body, you won't see this preset as being available. Well, uh, it'd actually be called Video X. So um, that won't that won't show up. You won't be able to build the preset, or, uh, the armor to that preset. So it's vitally important that you check all of these. Otherwise, you're not going to see it. And I covered that a little bit in my previous video. I'm just re-emphasizing it uh, because it is important, and I've had a lot of questions about that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Guelda ones as well, and I will show you why in a minute. And then we hit OK, or save, I should say. You'll see this come up, and then you just hit save. So now you can close this and reopen it, and your body preset will always be there. So now that we've done that, um, let's say, for instance, you've, uh, you want to you wanna go check it out in game. The one thing you need to make sure you do is hit build and it will build that body uh, for your character. Now, if you go into the game your and your character is wearing armor, take the armor off and you will see, you should see this exact body shape or fairly close to it. Now, there may be some differences, very slight, and a lot of that has to do with uh, lighting and your EMB at, uh, at different angles can make your character look different in game than that does in the tool. If you don't see any changes whatsoever, then your body slide is pointed at the wrong directory for your Skyrim, which shouldn't happen, but I've seen it happen. Uh, and the solution that I've seen people do is literally just uninstall it completely and then reinstall body slide, and that usually fixes the problem for it. You can manually point it at the right folder as well. Uh, but be careful if you're changing any of this. Uh, you might break your um, your Skyrim, or your body slide, I'm sorry. So that is uh, uh, covering the saving of it. Now, if you make any changes to this, uh, make sure you save it. So like, for instance, like, eh, that's a little too big. I'm gonna downgrade it a little bit, and I have made those changes make sure you hit that save button and it will overwrite the older version of the preset. Now, if you're not sure that you want to save those changes, uh, what you can do is just build, make the changes, build the preset on that, go into the game, see if you like it, and uh, if you do, then you can exit the game, come back, and then save it. But what I'll often do, especially if I'm making a number of large changes, is like, for instance, uh, I have um, several versions of May here, and it's actually missing one because I forgot to apply that, that group setting to it that I was talking about. Um, but let's say I have 
uh, I was working on three and I made a bunch of major changes to it. What I might do is I might save it as May 4 test and then build the body or save it, build the body and go in the game. And if I liked it, what I'll do is I'll load that up and then go ahead and just resave it as May 4 as a sort of final version of, uh, of that preset. So that's what I did with May and I've done it with Shea as well. Uh, I, I don't think I can count the number of versions I'm on with Tish because I literally built her it's like six years ago. So you can imagine I've gone through quite a few changes. So uh, make sure you're not, uh, when you're making a change and you want to test it, make, don't click the save button or save it as something else so you're not overriding your original. So that is, that is pretty important. So now that we have built a preset, we have built it to the body, uh, that we, uh, that, and now we want to apply it to an armor. Well, for an example, we're going to go with Nisa Tanaka's Dragon Bone Armor. So I, what I've done is I've gone into this, which is the outfit, outfit filter, and I'm typing in WWB Dragon. And I discussed this in my uh, other video as well. So now when I hit the outfit slash body thing, all I'm getting is Nisa Tanaka's Dragon Bone Armor. And I want to go ahead and, and batch build this. So it does all of it at once. It applies that preset to just that portion of his uh, armor and I just click on OK and I'm done. That's literally it. But uh, there are some variations to this. Like say for instance I was building um, this body preset to Gwelda's armor sets. So go in here and you see all these choices. And I go batch build, and you'll see all these various choices um, in here, and you'll see like three different things for the same armor, like Guelda Dawn Guard armor. That is literally the static version; it has no physics applied to it. The BBP version of that gives bouncing breast physics. That's what BBP stands for. And then the Guelda Dawn Guard armor TBBP adds uh, sort of overall body physics. So when you hit build, it's confused about which version you want and it's going to stop and ask you. Now I like physics all the way around. Uh, the reason it says armor TBBP is that this was made some time ago. The Guelda Red Riding Hood armor is a little newer, so it was actually built uh, around the CBBE HDT. So you're going to want to choose that. So I like physics for all of my armors and girls. So I am going to go through this rather lengthy list. I wish I'd shortened that a little bit. And make variations, or uh, make sure I choose the right variation of what I want. And then once I am done doing that, eventually, oof. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit OK and it's going to build uh, that armor with those particular choices around my body set or my body slide preset. So that is a variation that you may run into. Now um, one of the things I want to talk about before we end this video is I want to talk about where your preset locations are. I'm going to talk a bit about backing them up and then uh, also uh, about the possibility of making a quick and dirty little mod so you can share your uh, body slide preset with other Skyrim enthusiasts and they can just use uh, uh, <laughs> their mod managers to install them. So uh, we'll get started on that right now. All right, folks, I'm going to show you real quick how to back these up. And everything is under uh, data. It's in your Skyrim folder, data, Calante tools, body slide, slider presets. And you, you, you can see that file structure uh, in, in just about any install. And this is literally where it stores all of your presets. You can see the one I was working on with Tish that I created today and then the one we just created previously in the video. So everything is here. 
and what I will do is I will create a preset that I'm satisfied with once I've saved it I will copy it up to Google Drive someplace off of my computer so if my computer gets you know burned up in a fire or stolen or you know kidnapped by aliens I'll still be able to recreate my girl's body shape and I do the same thing with uh, face presets as well anything where I have had to work quite a bit to get something uh, done whether it's uh, the body presets or a facial preset um, I will make sure I back that up somewhere where I can get at it later if I need to like Google Drive you can use any any of, any of the cloud sources Google Drive just happens to be my favorite and the easiest to use so uh, again that's a matter of taste as long as it's somewhere off of your computer you should be good to go now um, I can show you how to make a quick and dirty little mod, and I don't mean dirty in a, in a you know lewd sort of way. Um, say you've created a, uh, a body preset and you've taken some screen caps, and everybody's like, "Ooh, ah, I like the way you did that body shape." Uh, could you share your preset? You'll be able to do it easily. Now you could just throw up the um, the XML file somewhere and share it. Uh, but what I normally do is I create a mod so if they decide they don't like it they can just use their mod manager to uninstall it and so what I have done is I have created a folder that has presets uh, it's a template that's made just for presets this one is currently empty I'll make a copy of it and again this mimics your Skyrim directory data structure and uh, when you you know I'll get to that in just a minute and so now I have this all ready to go I can close this now and let's say I wanted to share my latest version of Tish so what I'll do is I'll copy that in here and then now that's in this folder here and I'll make an archive and we'll call it Tish And then I click on OK, and you can see there that it has created. Let me drag this over here. Yes, thank you. No, I still haven't bought that yet. And it, it will make. A, sorry, I have multiple windows open on my other monitor. Uh, it will make this archive with that directory structure intact with the uh, body set or body slide preset in it. And then you can share that online. And you can install it with any uh, mod manager. Uh, and that way, if somebody looks at it, tries it out, and goes, eh, not quite to my taste, they don't have to go hunting through their folders to find it and install it. Uh, they can just uninstall the mod and then delete it. And so it's a lot easier to do it that way than uh, copying it and then deleting it by hand. So that's it for the video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If so, please remember to hit that like button. If you have any questions or you just want to say, hey, thanks, uh, drop me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Once again, I have been your host, Porterhouse, who is very hoarse and getting worse. And I hope to see you all at my next video.